So today's topic is going to be leave with dignity because I saw a piece of advice from Dita Von Tees and she said always leave or exit a relationship or whatever the situation is with dignity even if you're hurting do not let the person see that you're hurting deep inside. And I thought I'd take this advice because basically like fresh in the moment I made like a story time and as you can see I'm not even in frame because my thoughts are just not in the right place and when I sat back and watched it I was thinking this is just negative energy I, I can't post this it's not gonna help anyone it's literally me just venting and like some people they write in a journal I don't really write in journals I tend to just like film and then I don't always post what I film I used to just put any old shit on my channel I'd literally film something and be like that'll do post but these days I'm a bit more selective with what I post the short and abridged version of what happened is I reconnected with someone in my past and they asked me out on a date and I've known this person for quite a while and we went on a date OGs will probably know who it is but we went on a date I basically put myself out there and said how I felt and the short version is that it wasn't reciprocated. I made this long 20 minute rambling story time about how this person was late and how they cut the date short. And yeah, that was negative energy because I have to realize that this person doesn't want to be with me. I have to look deep down and think, yeah, I overinvested in this. This was my mistake. I was escalating the situation in my head and I was kind of getting caught up in feelings that this person didn't hold for me. Even like looking back, I can see the red flags of how he didn't want to come to my part of town. It was always me making the effort. And I was making excuses because I really liked this person. This person was obviously attractive and charming and had a lot going for him. And I could kind of sit there for days trying to work out what I did wrong on this day. I thought it was a nice day. I mean, like I said, he asked me out. So I was like, it's in my head, I was like, it's not me. It's not me just forcing this along. This person actually asked me out on a date. Then after the day, he texted me and said, oh, I'm sorry the date didn't go on any longer. I was busy with work and I know. When a guy says he's busy with work, you know girls, you know that's a lie. That's a lie that guys play when they're not interested, when they say they're busy with work. If they really like you, they're gonna escalate that. They're gonna like try and have sex with you. It doesn't matter if they're like a heart surgeon or something and needs to go to the hospital. If someone likes you, they're gonna try and escalate things. And I knew, actually I'll tell you how I knew that he wasn't interested. When the day ended, A, he didn't kiss me, so I knew that he wasn't into me. And B, he let me walk home on my own to the train station, which was like a 10 minute walk. And in that moment I knew I didn't even need the text after the date for it to be confirmed. I knew from experience that this person didn't have feelings for me and it hurt my ego because I realised in that moment that this person didn't care about me and I was just like stewing about that on the way home. And that's when I realised I had to leave with dignity. And yeah, posting a video on the internet is probably not that dignified. I'm posting it more for me because this person didn't care about me at all. And looking back, I can see this person was just keeping me in the background as a kind of, oh, I can possibly have sex with that person. This person wasn't that into me. And I had to accept with my bruised ego that I liked this person more than they liked me. My friend says that I'm like that character in He's Just Not Into You. You know that girl that's overanalyzing everything and, oh, I'll have to get the quote. This is really paraphrased. But I'm closer to finding love by putting myself out there than by you that's not putting yourself out there at all. And no matter how many times I tried to open up to this person, he would not open up at all. And the main reason that men don't open up to you 
is sadly because they're not into you. If they don't see a future, men will not open up to you because they. it's a bit like, what's the point? In the same way that women tend to not have sex with people that they don't want or see a future with, in the same way, men don't open up to women and be vulnerable with people that they don't see a future with because they see what's the point. It's so hard for like men to open up. Why are they gonna do it? And I think deep down, I was just trying to make this guy open up and feel something for me and he didn't. So that's when I realised when I put everything together, the whole not walking me home to the train station, stuff like this, and even little things like when we were walking, I like linked arm in arm with him, because I've known this person for two years, it's not just like, like a stranger on the internet, I've kind of, you know, known this person for a while, and he didn't like put his arm around me or anything, so even in that moment, I could tell that it was one-sided. In a way, I'm glad I went on the date because now I can gain closure from it. I can gain closure that this person wasn't interested. And since then, he's just ghosted me and he hasn't replied to my messages. And yeah, that, that really sucks that this person just ghosted me. But the way I see it is that, well, there's two things. The first thing is, this person is completely entitled not to be with me. In the same way as I'm entitled to not want to be with a man, he's entitled not to be with me. He could have dealt with it better, but you can't hold people to your own standards. And this is what I've learned in life, is that I go about life in one way and I'm honest with people, but that isn't always reciprocated. And people deal with certain situations in different ways. And this person probably doesn't want to write out in a text, I don't wanna be with you. That's what it boils down to, is that this person doesn't wanna be with me, but he's obviously not gonna say it because he knows that's gonna hurt me. It's really just absorbing the silence and reading between the lines. And yeah, it hurt. Like for the past week or so, I've been really hurt because this person doesn't want to be with me. But I'm stronger now that I don't even cry anymore. Like, I don't even cry on camera. I just see it as, okay, this person doesn't want to be with me. That's fine. I've tried, like, I've done all I can do. This person doesn't want to be with me. I can just move on. And in a way, it's, it's the closure I need. You never get a whole, you know, explanation from a man saying why they don't want to be with you. That's not how it works. I haven't always left with dignity. In the past, I've been the person, you know, begging for people to take me back. The person that's just the person that's clinging on to someone, like trying to hold on to someone saying, no, I don't want this to end. That kind of person. And I've been that person in the past and the older I get, the more that I realise I've been kind of going back to this person because they're familiar and because, God, this is honest. But because there's no one else. And that's, that's why I never judge people for going back because it's so hard, because everyone has gone back to the wrong person. And I kept, you know, living in the hope really that it would work with this person. Not even that they were my soulmate or anything like that, but I was just clinging on to this ideal that this would work this time. And sadly, I just have to accept that it won't and not trying to rush into anything else, not thinking, oh, this has ended let's jump on the apps, let's find someone else, because that's what people do. And at the moment, I know, I know women aren't allowed to admit this. Because of society. But all I want at the moment is just to make money. It's not to fill a hole in my life or anything like that. All I want is just to make money so I can change my life. And that's what I'm doing, focusing on that. Because ultimately, it's better to be on your own, working on yourself, rather than living in hope of something happening, 
clinging on to someone that's wrong for you. And I can't remember which video I talked about this on. I think it was, should women ask men out on dates? I was trying to make this happen. I was reaching out to him. If you look at it technically on paper, he asked me out on a date. I was still driving this emotionally. I was still trying to make this work. I was still trying to like escalate it and ramp things up. I've got to the point now where I'm just not even gonna try and do that anymore. And if a man's not into me and a man's not pursuing me, then I'm not even gonna bother anymore. You do literally get to the point where you're just like, what's the point? Like, what is the point in dating? And I don't want this to turn into like a negative video, but you do get to that stage where you're just like, why does it have to be so hard to just find someone that wants what I want. My criteria isn't even strict. My criteria is, has a job, doesn't smoke weed. 